Well, we decided to take some time and come out to the lake and fish some basin fish, and we landed on a pretty good school of bluegills and crappies. We set up, and at first we started using just the electronics. There we go. We nipped it. And we we're getting enough rejections that we dropped the camera down, and we wanted to do a little learning on what was going on. And we started off, we had a few lures tied up. You know, traditionally, every, you like a tungsten lure, some type of horizontal tungsten lure. You got a little bit of a spoon action. Um, then we had a few darting lures. We had a uh, puppet minnow and another type of a different style darting move with a uh, little bit of plastic on it. And we started rotating through the lures and they just, you know, anything that sat and vibrate, like we like to uh, fish these little tungstens just vibrating, throw a little euro on it or throw a plastic on it, but just sitting there, they just didn't want it. Um, and then we, uh, we switched over and we went to uh, the little spoon they showed a little more um, liking to that, but it had to be really snapped, you know, six inches up. But it didn't dart side to side. And we, you know, we'd get a few bluegills come up and nip at it. We'd catch a few and a few of the crappies. But as soon as we went to these darting style lures, whether it had a plastic like this on it, or whether it was a minnow style lure like this puppet minnow, and we threw a few waxies on the trebles on the bottom. And as soon as you started snapping, like in the uh, on the screen and it went side to side instead of just up and down they were taking they were doing 90s and coming out and tacking that bottom treble and after a while we noticed that we didn't even need euros we didn't need waxes on them um, they were just going after it so I you know it's more of a reaction bite but when they were semi-negative or neutral I mean they just really wouldn't take that stuff that just sat still and they had enough time to look at it they wanted something moving side to side and uh, once we started using more of these darting style baits, um, we really upped our catch today. You know, when you're fishing this way, a lot of times you think when they're a little bit neutral that you downsize and go really small. Many times that does work. But just the opposite is also true. Sometimes you go big and you go aggressive and you get them to react to the lure like we're doing right now and you can get these crappies to hit when they aren't always overly willing to hit. So. Here comes one, we got a bluegill in the background or something. Look at that guy. What was that? Here comes, is that a crappie? Look at, here he comes. He's gonna get real good, boom! Oh, missed him. But see how he turned on it? You get down there, snap away. Come. Oh, bluegill came up hard too. Pop, pop. Another sit and jiggle, jiggle. We don't have any bait on this right now. And they're still going after that bottom treble. Here he comes. Got him. <laughs> no bait at all. He stole my waxy on the fish before. Just a little bluegill. A lot of times these bluegills, they, they're notorious for staring at your lure and analyzing it, sitting like an inch away. But with uh, these more aggressive lures, they'll, they don't really spend a lot of time staring at it. They just go after that bottom treble and get really aggressive. One other nice benefit of fishing with the uh, camera is you know many times when you're fishing a little bit deeper you won't feel the bites actually you know in 20 feet of water if they're just nipping it where with the camera you actually see them bite it so you get a lot more hookups many times you up your catch considerably using a camera you got some fish rolling in we're gonna as soon as they come in you just get a little more aggressive pop it pop it look at there's one look at a, look at an attack on it see all they turn he'll turn on it just keep it moving a little jigging, he'll come, boom, got him, just like that. So next time you're out here, when the fish get a little bit fussy, instead of going a little bit smaller with like putting a single euro or something on it, just go a little bit bigger and throw in these darting lures out, get a little more aggressive and have a little bit of fun. <laughs>